Good morning everyone. Currently quarter past six in the morning. We will be catching a bus to Petra from uh, Amman bus station. Should take us about four hours. Apparently there's only one bus a day that goes there so yeah. If you're going to Petra from Amman by bus then uh, yeah this will be the bus that you will be catching. Welcome to, not Petra, little Petra. We arrived about half an hour ago. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna explore the monastery. So we're gonna use a different entrance. We're gonna do little Petra first. Then we're gonna go to the monastery and then we're gonna go down the stairs and then we're gonna go and visit the other area saves us doing 800 and odd steps going up so yeah This is a hell of a walk. Wow, look at that incredible view. Wow. I didn't realize there was so much walking involved. This is becoming a quite a high intense hike. Wow. 
哇。There is a Jordanian flag. Whoa. Finally, we made it. If you come here about half past five before they close, you'll be on your own. I think it's the best time to visit this place. I think these canals used to take the water all the way to the treasury. Currently six o'clock in the morning, trying to beat the queues. 
into Petra. This is the visitor center. Hardly anyone at this time. So if you want to get good pictures, this is the time to go. Just remember, no drones allowed in here. Here we go. It's going to be about, I would say, about half an hour walk to the treasury, probably a bit more. Petra is more than 2,000 years old. It was built by the Nabataeans in the heart of the Sahara Mountains. It prospected in the first century BC and AD and it was a vital part of a major trading route connecting ancient Mesopotamia and Egypt. Today Intricate facades sculptured into the sandstone cliffs of the area can still be seen, along with the other remarkably preserved structures and monument of this fascinating civilization. So we're nearly there at the entrance of the gorge that will take us to the treasury which is one of the seven wonders of the world.
I think many Bedouins actually live here in Petra. They all got their own shops. You can actually go and sit inside, have tea, and they will talk to you, tell you a few stories, you know. Now, this is what happens if you come to the monastery at 11 o'clock in the morning. Take a look. So when you come to Petra, wake up early. That's my advice. Hello, 